Hello, everybody. I hope you can hear me all right. Um, my name is Kinga Petzari, as my colleague just said. Uh, it may sound familiar because I have been in contact with some of you already over the past few months. Uh, so uh, I will just get to my slides real quick. Okay, so as you can see, we are past the first part of the presentation and we will get on to the second technical uh, part and thanks for sticking around. I imagine it must be quite a lot of information to get a hold of, but uh, uh, that's our faculty. <laughs> um, so first I'll be going over the application process and afterwards the entr entrance examinations. And I will also mention uh, a bit, uh, a few words about the scholarships that are available to you. And then we will have another Q&A session where most of the technical questions you just asked will get answered. Uh, also, um, we will send you all the slides that you see here today. So you will be able to check the links we have provided as well on your own time. So uh, as for the application process, um, the uh, the process itself is for our fee paying students so anyone who wants to apply with a scholarship should check the scholarships respective website so again the steps i will be describing now are not for you if you are applying with an uh, sh or uh, that is stipendium hungaricum or a scholarship for christian young people scheme uh, just please keep that in mind uh, so the first really important step is that you meet the qualification requirements, which you can see in detail on our website. And I also linked uh, the application procedure itself on the, the slide you can see in front of you. Um, the, the most important uh, step after that is handing in all the required documents, which you can see here. Um, there is an online application form that you can uh, find the link for on the website I just mentioned. You will also need to present your bachelor's degree. Now, I, I'm just going to mention because it's another uh, very uh, popular topic. Uh, you do need the original uh, bachelor's degree, uh, your original bachelor's degree by the day of enrollment. So that means early September. However, you can apply if you do not have the original yet, because say, uh, like uh, someone before said, uh, you will be graduating in June. Um, that's fine. Of course, uh, you can ask for, or you have to ask for an official certificate issued by uh, your, your university, which proves that you graduated and you will receive your uh, B uh, bachelor's degree uh, shortly. But at the latest, like I said, you do have to present it uh, on the enrollment day. Um, we will also ask for an academic transcript of records, which features all, your, uh, all the subjects you took, the courses. Uh, as a fee paying student, you also have to present a proof of the application fee transfer. Uh, that is 36,000 Hungarian forints. I put the approximate equivalent of um, US dollar is there so people don't get scared that it's a huge amount. Uh, no, it's just in Hungarian foreign. Um, next up, we'll be talking of the, on the next slide, we'll be talking of the uh, proof of English language proficiency, which is another hot topic, <laughs> but you also need that. Uh, furthermore, you need a motivation letter, a copy of your passport, of course, and uh, a small uh, sized photo of uh, you. Furthermore, I can recommend that you get a reference letter uh, either from your professors or, or a professor or an employer you had or any such professional um, entity. Okay, so about English language proficiency, what we require here for a master's program is that you have an upper intermediate level of English uh, knowledge. Uh, this uh, is proved because we are in Europe, this is proved by the common European framework of reference for languages. This has to be a B2 uh, a level. I put there the equivalents in different uh, internationally acclaimed language exams as well. 
and you can uh, check and compare uh, test scores if you have one and would like to know whether it's the equivalent of a B2 you can do so by going on the link I provided uh, most uh, popular and best uh, and most well known um, language exams include the international English language testing system uh, and the test of English as a foreign language. Uh, what we personally recommend is the so called euro exam, uh, which my colleague uh, will write down uh, in the chat for you. Uh, this is an internationally acclaimed uh, language exam as well, and we accept it and you can do it online so it's all the features you need uh, if you. Uh, don't have a, a, an English language uh, exam uh, certificate yet, but you would like to get it by September. Uh, so uh, there are exemptions from uh, this rule. Uh, if your mother tongue is English, you do not need to present a, a language certificate. You also don't need to present one if uh, your uh, bachelor or master's degree was uh, taught in English entirely. And uh, you also don't have to provide one if you have a, a bachelor's uh, degree in a country where English is one of the official languages. Okay, so uh, about the admission, if you pass all the previous steps and uh, you hand in all the application documents in order, you will be invited to an online written test. This will be on one of the university's own websites. Uh, it will uh, feature uh, questions like, uh, let's say, uh, choose the correct answer from the four pro possible answers we provided down below or give a definition of something. So uh, like a, uh, Mr. Gaspari said previously, we cannot provide a sample uh, test of previous years, but um, if you uh, look at the entrance topics uh, on the website, which I will list uh, in a short time, uh, you can uh, prepare very well for these exams. Uh, if you reach a high enough score on the online written test, you will then be and only then be invited to the online audiovisual interview, which will be with two of our professors. And uh, they will talk to you uh, about your studies so far, uh, your professional background, thesis work, your scientific interests, what your motivations may be in coming here, and what you plan to do after your uh, after you finish your degree here. These are just examples, so you know what you can sort of expect. I listed all the examination topics uh, from the website uh, here. Uh, you can, uh, besides the topics themselves, you can also find the uh, recommended literature. Uh, like I said, these together allow for uh, a thorough uh, preparation for the entrance exam. A bit about tuition fees, just because it's something that you have to prepare because obviously these are uh, good amounts of money. Uh, again, you can see the individual prices uh, also on the, on the website, and I keep repeating this because there are a lot of questions uh, usually that can easily be answered by uh, checking out uh, our website. This is important, especially because uh, for fee paying students, we can only issue your letter of admission after you paid the first semester's tuition fee. And that is very important because your letter of admission is a crucial supporting document uh, that has to be handed in when you apply for a visa. And since visa applications can take up to two months uh, to process, it is best if you um, pay the tuition fee uh, quite soon after you get admitted uh, to our university. And last but not least, a few words about scholarships. Um, the most popular one is Stipendium Hungaricum, which I assume most of you will be familiar with already. Uh, it has quite a, a, a quick deadline or it will expire soon, the application period. So uh, if you have any other documents missing yet, make sure to please hand them in on their application website until the 15th of January. Uh, 
um, scholarship of uh, the scholarship for Christian young people is also available. It is slightly more select, as you can see, by the number of partnering countries and has a longer deadline, similar to the Hungarian diaspora scholarship. If with the, the Hungarian diaspora, diaspora scholarship, uh, you can also apply to our bachelor's uh, programs, uh, which are taught in, uh, in Hungarian only. Uh, so now, uh, before we get on to the uh, frequently asked questions and personal question session, I would like to just um, draw your attention to these links. This is the heavily mentioned website <laughs> that you can find a lot of information on listed on the top. You can find us, uh, me and my colleagues at the international.office at itkppke.hu. And please consider following our Facebook page to keep up to date with current events and news. Now, uh, I would like to go on to the um, questions and answers session. I have um, prepared quite a lot of preliminarily asked questions that you had over the past few weeks. And I would like to start by uh, answering those, because if some of them have not been answered during the presentation yet, these questions may answer them. So I will uh, start real quick. Um, can I apply without my current degree certificate? Like I said, uh, the degree certificate is only good for application. Uh, you do need the the original bachelor's uh, degree for enrollment. Next question is, are entrance examinations mandatory while applying for the fully funded scholarship by the Hungarian government? Very short answer, yes, they are. Everybody needs to go through our, um, our admission process, so the entrance examination, uh, independent of what um, funding they choose for the program. The next question is, is yet again about the uh, bachelor degree certificate, which I already answered, so we will uh, glance over that. Uh, am I allowed for a second master's at your university? So assuming the, um, the person here wants to know whether uh, if they uh, already have a, a master's degree, whether they can do another one here, the question, uh, the answer is of course, yes, you can. So it is completely fine if you come here uh, already having a, a master's degree. Am I eligible for admission considering my academic record and job experience? So um, we do not give out preliminary evaluations of your credentials. That means that I cannot, I don't have the capacity, unfortunately, to answer each and every one of you and check all your papers and say whether you will be successful or not. Uh, if you think you will be successful um, and if you have a big enough motivation and, and a good enough background, uh, please hand in the application documents and we can go from there. Next question uh, is, how many applicants are getting acceptance into the medical biotechnology program? Uh, this counts for all the other programs, uh, master's programs, it's a maximum of 10. Um, if I choose your program as a second priority during the SH Stipendium uh, Hungaricum application process, what is my acceptance percentage in case I do, do not get selected to the first institution? So basically, such questions uh, are best um, addressed to Tempus Public Foundation. Tempus Public Foundation is the one who uh, allocates uh, scholarship applicants, um, not the university. Uh, these scholarships are provided by the Hungarian government and we do not do any administration for them. So basically, Tempus Public Foundation will allocate you based on your score um, if you get accepted to both uh, the universities. Uh, I want to ask about the preparatory semester. How much does it cost? So the preparatory semester is the first semester each of our international students go through. It is an integral part of the master's program. 
it therefore it costs the same as every other semester of that given program. It is not any different in that regard. I would like to request information about accommodation facilities. Does the university provide dorms for international students? The answer is yes, we will open, open our brand new dormitory uh, from September 2022, so this year, and it will be open to all our students, uh, therefore international ones as well, of course. Um, the next question is about the um, about accommodation as well. Can all international students get accommodation and is this covered by the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship? So the Stipendium Hungaricum Scholarship, as you can see uh, in their call for applications and in their operational, reg operational regulations, it um, either provides you with a sum of uh, accommodation allowance each month, which is 40,000 Hungarian forints per month, or if you choose to live in the dormitory I just mentioned, the one we will be opening uh, this September, then you do not get uh, this allowance. Instead, you get to live in the dormitory at a, a very um, good rate, meaning very, very cheaply. So it's up to you which you choose. Uh, both can have advantages and, and disadvantages. I'm an Eritrean citizen living abroad, and the scholarship demands students living in their home countries. Is there any way that I can be able to secure a scholarship? To my knowledge, you do not have to live in your home country to apply. So that's, that's a short answer. If I am not selected, is there any other option for scholarship? Is there any scholarship available other than Stipendium Hungaricum and scholarship for Christian young people? The answer is no. These are the two major scholarships we feature. And uh, another thing that may be important for you to know is that you can apply, uh, if you do, should you not get accepted this year uh, for an SH scholarship, let's say, then you can apply uh, in the same manner next year. And if you do get accepted, you can continue your studies without having to pay any more. So that's a distinct possibility. Can I travel with my family for my master's studies? This is a, another popular uh, question. Naturally, you may travel with whomever you wish. It is your personal decision. However, I would like to disclose that we cannot and will not provide any help uh, administrative or otherwise uh, to uh, your family members, only you, because you are our students. And especially when it comes to visa application and, and uh, travel arrangements, please do not expect uh, help from us in that regard for your family, only for you. Uh, another per on a personal note, uh, it, it is quite difficult. These programs are quite difficult to handle. So if, if you permit a personal remark, it may be best to leave your family behind uh, because it will require a lot of your time to, to study here. Um, okay, and then um, when checking entry, entry qualifications for the computer science master's degree, it's mentioned that candidates should have an English certificate. Is it necessary or can the interview do it? It is absolutely necessary. Uh, the interview alone is not proof of uh, English language proficiency. Are there no centers for, for, as there are no centers for providing international English exams in Syria, is it possible to accept a certificate of placement English test by a local university? It is enough only for the application and the entrance examinations, the same as with the original uh, bachelor's degree, you are required to hand in an internationally acclaimed uh, language exam certificate by the enrollment day. Again, I can recommend Euro exam 